Hi there, and welcome to my webinar. I'm Aaron Garner. Now, I work for a small family business in Mallorca called Globo Balear, which is Mallorca's premier entertainment group. And I've been with the business now for 17 years. I have probably the best job in the world. Well, technically, I have two jobs. Now, my role during the day is as group sales trainer. And in the evenings, I perform as lead compare and main character within both shows, Pirate Adventure and Pirates Reloaded. In all honesty, there isn't anyone better on this planet who can quite help you like I can. So allow me to share with you all the amazing wealth of knowledge and experience that I've built up over the years. And trust me, you're in the best hands possible. So let's talk about pirates. Now this webinar will be the first of many. And our aim is to give you all the tools and information you need in order to better promote and sell our products to your wonderful and highly valued customers. Now they say time is money. Never a true word spoken. Just give me 30, 35 minutes of your undivided attention. And in return, I will help you not only increase your shop revenues, but also help to hit your targets and more importantly, put money in your back pocket by generating extra commissions just in pirate sales. I'm now going to share with you an in-depth view of all the valuable show information, some great selling tips, exciting trailers from the show itself, fantastic celebrity endorsements, also a secret formula that guarantees you success. And I even have a fun little game to play that will prove you were born to sell. Remember, knowledge is power. And without the knowledge, you've got absolutely nothing. So pull up your chair, get yourself comfy, grab your mug of tea or coffee, and let's start first with a pirate's adventure. Pirate's Adventure is Mallorca's number one show and has been for many years. We are celebrating our 30th year, magically incorporating action, adventure, and amusement. With its fascinating and trendy theme of pirates, the show itself follows a story of good versus evil performed within film set surroundings. Offering unbeatable value for money, Pirates Adventure is a dinner show, providing a true hearty pirates feast in the form of chicken, sausages, potato wedges, coleslaw, and of course, ice cream. All that washed down with free drinks. Those drinks include beer, sangria, soft drinks from the Coca-Cola company, and of course, bottled mineral water. Now, transport can be provided from any part of the island that your customers may be staying. And of course, let's not forget the icing on the cake and the real reason people go to Pirates is because of the world-class show. Let's talk about quality of this international cast that come from all four corners of the globe. World, European and British champions in acrobatics and gymnastics are performing. These are the world's best performing live, on and of course off stage. This unique show is suitable for all ages, whether you be 2 or 92, turning adults into children. There are three seating options to suit all budgets. It's simply pure class, first class, world class. Now, some of you may have seen Pirates before. Some of you may have never ever been to Mallorca or ever heard of Pirate Adventure. So here, is a little 50 second teaser of Pirate's Adventure. Turn the volume up and pay close attention to detail. What I want you to do is while you're watching this little trailer, notice the costume, lights, the music, the makeup, the close proximity of the audience to the stage itself, the authentic theater set in the background, plus all the amazing acts that are happening at the same time. Pirate's Adventure is energetic, 
It's vibrant, it's fast paced and above all, it's exciting. There's no show quite like it anywhere else in the world that has your pulse racing or your heart pumping quite as fast. It really is that good. If Pirates had a sponsor, it would have to be Carlsberg. <laughs> because it's probably the best show in the world. So why should your customers be going to Pirates? It's a very good question, and it's something I'm going to answer, and I want you to make sure that you're telling your customers this every time you have a Mallorca booking. So let's look at this. We have had over three million customers walking through our doors since 1985. We have been voted Mallorca's number one must-see attraction. And we do take TripAdvisor comments very seriously. They say that we are ranked amongst the top three worldwide. When I say top three worldwide, I mean the top three best of the best show productions. We're talking about Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world. We're talking about as far as China, where Franco Dragoni has amazing shows. And here we are, a small family business based here on this little Mediterranean island of Mallorca. And we give you quality, equaling, if not better, than that of our rivals that we sit amongst. The talent in our pirate show is sublime. This is just one reason why your customers should go to Pirate Adventure. So why should your customers go to Pirates? Well, because the show has a story. It's a very simple story of good versus evil, enabling the customer to not only follow very easily, but understand what's going on at the same time. The story makes the whole show have flow and constant fluidity. There are no blank pauses or awkward moments of silence, no. This is a story where the audience emotions are running wild. One minute you're holding onto your breath in awe of what these performers are able to do, and the next you're cheering on your captain in an exciting battle with the pirates themselves. It's a roller coaster ride of emotions, leaving you absolutely speechless. So why should your customers go to Pirates? Well, very simply, this is a show that suits all ages. There is something for absolutely everybody, with comedy, kids games, world-class acrobatics, funky, upbeat dance routines, jaw-dropping gymnastical elements that will leave you breathless. Now, anybody who's walking through your agency or your shop door, whether you're working in a call centre and take, picking up the phone and answering those calls to any Mallorca holiday booking, they can and should be going to Pirates. It doesn't matter whether your customers are tiny little babies, toddlers, infants, kids or young teens, couples, families, groups or even OAPs. Everyone will have the time of their life and that is a pirate promise. Here's another great reason why your customers should be going to Pirate Adventure. As you'll see quite clearly on the slide, it's an addictively interactive experience. And that's what Pirates is, an experience. It makes you feel a part of the show without actually having to do a thing. It has what we call the magical stroke Disney effect. Now from the moment your customers will arrive at the venue itself, they will be, unlike any other show in the world, they'll be metered, greeted and seated by the cast themselves. Then, of course, there are moments of pure joy and brilliance when kids are invited to take part in a treasure game live on stage with their captains. An unsuspecting lady, as you can see here, is taken by surprise to the lower stage to be serenaded by one of our very talented comedic characters. You'll see the close proximity of the acts that happen near and in the audience really gives this show the wow factor and a complete edge over any other. What's really humbling about the Pirates 
is the fact that all the cast and the crew meet outside after the finale and they say their goodbyes to the customers. Obviously we're posing for the pictures, we're giving autographs and chatting to the customers before they depart. For us, it's the perfect way to give that personal touch, which comes at no extra cost. It's all part of who we are. Quite unique. So this is probably my favourite slide of all. Why is it that your customers should be going to Pirates Adventure? Well, it doesn't get any simpler than this. We offer unbeatable value for money. Now, I want you to think about it, and I'm going to prove it to you right now. With the ticket price of Pirate Adventure, which let's say, let's look at our basic seating category, which is called Main Deck, and we'll get onto that a little bit later. That starts at round about 49 euros, or today's exchange rate, about 36 pounds. But this is what your customer will get for their 36 pounds, okay? Transport will and can be provided in that ticket price. Also, food, because we did say that Pirates is a dinner show. Free drinks. When I'm talking about free drinks, I'm talking sangria, beer, soft drinks from the Coca-Cola company and bottled mineral water. Plus, of course, the icing on the cake, a world-class show. So you get four in one. All those four things for the price of 49 euros or 36 pounds. So now what I want you to do is think about that money. Think about the figure 36 pounds. So when you compare any show that you have in your hometown or city, wherever you live in the United Kingdom, let's imagine you are going to, and I'll pull something out my head here, Cusa, a Cirque du Soleil show that was actually performing in London this year. Their ticket prices were starting at 62 quid, which is £26 more than Pirates. Now, what they weren't giving your customer or yourself, transport to London and to the theatre. That wasn't included in the £62. You weren't going to get free drinks in the theatre, and you certainly weren't going to get free food. So with no transport, no food and no drinks, just the ticket price at £62, which is £26 more expensive than Pirates, that's what you were getting, just the show itself. Still not convinced? OK, let's look at something a little bit cheaper. So let's pretend it's November, December, January, February time, OK? Pantos are very popular and very good. And let's say you're living in the Birmingham area. So you go to a Panto in Birmingham city centre and it's £40. Now this is £4 more expensive than Pirates. But you don't get your transport, you don't get your drinks, and you don't get your food. So you understand what I'm trying to say. Both those shows are more expensive than Pirates. This is why your customers should be going to Pirates Adventure, because the value for money is outrageously too good to refuse. And compared to other shows in the UK, it's not only cheaper and saves you money, but it has quality. We're talking world-class acrobats and gymnasts true champions in their sport not just one or two but many they are simply the very best at what they do and your customers would not want to miss out on that so here's another fabulous reason why your customers should be going to pirates as if you aren't convinced already you must be by now well listen to this we talked in the previous slide didn't we about unbeatable value for money well we believe and we know from the feedback that we get day in, day out, that your customers, the things they want are true value for their hard-earned cash. Now, customers don't mind paying a little bit more if the quality is there. And that's the key. So, when an international cast like Pirates Adventure has, when they come along, and the fact that they have won gold, silver and bronze medals galore, after representing their respective native countries at the very highest level of sport, whether that be in the Commonwealth Games, National Championships, European Cups, the World Games, or even the pinnacle itself, the Olympics, then you realise that these are the best of the best, performing at a level you just have to see to believe. 
It just doesn't get any better than these guys. So here is food for thought. Where is it that you get to see so many world and European champions performing in one place? Think about that. And think about the price you pay if you were to see just one world champion. But we don't have just one or two. We have many within our cast. You and your customers come to see Pirates Adventure because the quality is at a level you just don't get to see anywhere else. What you're about to see now is a short video clip of some of our close friends. They not only support us as a business, as a show, but they love what they see. Here are some of their honest opinions after they saw our 2004 Pirates Adventure charity premiere. Now we do these premieres and we've been doing them for 10 years now. They normally take place around about May of every year. We do this for two reasons. One is to showcase our new product for the forthcoming summer season, but also to raise as much money as we possibly can for a great charity called Great Ormond Street. So have a listen, watch very carefully, and see if you recognise any of the following. I mean, it gets better. I was there last year. This one's even better. It was absolutely brilliant. It really was. Very talented. I've never been to a show like it. Um, I've never heard of a show like it. So it's a great, it's a great place to come. And uh, it's so friendly. The atmosphere is great. It's a really... Although it's, although it's crazy, it's, it's really relaxed and you feel really comfortable and it's a lovely place to be. The show is absolutely amazing. I'm really, really knocked out by it. The money that was raised tonight is just incredible. Good night. Have by all. Absolutely brilliant. The kids loved it. I loved it. I, I've got to come back again. I didn't, I've heard of the show before and I never thought it was this good. It was absolutely brilliant. Never been to the show before, but you know, seeing is believing. And once you've seen that show, you believe. It was awesome. I'm in the fourth year now and it's absolutely, it's picking up, you can see all the different things that they're doing. But thoroughly enjoy it. So from, day, from day one, it, you know, really, it's something that you, you can, the family enjoy, the kids enjoy. Oh, fantastic. I've got uh, two boys that stayed away, one that crashed, but just thought it was absolutely brilliant. Just the, oh, the strength of those guys and just the whole show, I just thought it was put together so well and uh, yeah, we had a fantastic night. Absolutely amazing. I've, I've been here, well I've been to New York so many times, but I've never been here. I've always meant to go, but I thought it'd be like kind of like pantomime or something. But I mean, the, the guys that do that amazing stuff, it's, it's like unbelievable. I could, walk, I could go again and again and again, definitely. I loved it, it was fantastic. Loved every minute of it. Oh, it's not very impressive, is it? I mean, they're all a bit weak and you know, they can't really do... That was the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely fantastic. We've just been saying it should come to London, it should travel around. It's, they're just unbelievable acrobats. You expected to see those kind of things at the Olympics, the control and the muscles and the sexiness. <laughs> far, far better than I expected. You're seeing things which are literally unreal. They're doing things that, you know, I could only dream of doing. And, you know, obviously you've got to realise how much hard work they have to put in. And, I mean, they, the, those guys are in great physical shape, great mental shape. You know, it's, it's got to be hard work. And I wish I could do some of the moves. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're getting there, do you know what I mean? A little bit of hard work and they'll be all right. Forget Vegas, forget Cirque du Soleil. This is where it's at because this is Cirque du Soleil, but times 10. Brilliant show. Well done, lads. Keep up the good work. Seeing is believe it. You see it. It was beep, beep, brilliant. Pirates has a huge celebrity following, and it is with good reason. Now, celebrities will visit Mallorca every week of the year, and the one thing they always want to do whilst they're enjoying their sunshine break is see the Pirates Adventure show. And why is that? Well, it's simply because of the quality and the fact that they've heard so many great things about pirates. When your customers come to pirates, hey, you never know who they might be sat next to. So let's look at some more familiar faces. These are a little bit more up to date. Do you recognise any of them? There are, of course, other celebrities we couldn't have pictures of. And this is simply due to politics or a little bit of red tape. But they include... The king of theatre himself, Mr. Andrew Lloyd Webber, or should I say, Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber. We've also had royalty through our doors. His Royal Highness Prince Harry, His Royal Highness Peter Phillips, and of course, the king of comedy himself, 
who apparently, I do believe, recently was voted top judge, Mr. David Walliams. Now, you'll know him more familiar, obviously, from Little Britain if you're my kind of age, but he's one of the great judges on Britain's Got Talent. Now, this gives you an idea of who may be sat in the audience on any particular given night. Now, if it's good enough for royalty, then surely it's good enough for your customers. Let's look at the seating plan. What's really nice about Pirate Adventure, like all great theatres around the world, is the fact that your customer has the option to choose whichever seating category they desire and prefer. At Pirate Adventure, we have three different seating options. We're going to pull up the seating plan now. You can see the stage quite clearly. So the third tier seating option is what we call our main deck. Now everything within our theatre is themed and that includes how we name our seating options. So this blue shaded area you see now is our main deck seating area and no seat is more than 15 metres away from the actual stage. So let's pull up our second tier seating. And like I said, everything is themed. So we call this the quarter deck. And these are very, very popular seats indeed. These are what we call our mid-range price category seating. However, what we're about to show you now is what we call our captain's tables. Now these are simply the best seats in the house. Now they come at a price, don't get me wrong, but these are the exclusive VIP captain's tables. So if your customers are celebrating something special, if it's their only night out in the week's holiday that they're there for, if it's an anniversary, a birthday party, anything like that, then maybe this is something that you should be urging your customers to be taken full advantage of. Because with the captain's tables, there are certain extras that come with the price tag. Your customers will experience such things as plated service, a bottle of nice wine to accompany their meal, a souvenir program, and of course, there's much, much more. But the real reason why you choose the captain's tables is simply because they are the best seats in the house. So, you will see this map in full now. The blue seating area is the main deck. The red seating area is the quarter deck. And the best seats in the house are centrally located, as you can see, close to the stage. And these are the captain's tables. Why don't you use this map to interact whilst with your customer? You should have access to this seating plan via your booking platform. So utilize it. Engage with the customer by asking them to point out where it is in the theatre they would prefer to sit. Now, by doing this, the customer will not only point to your screen, but in doing so, as they're pointing, they're actually committing to the buying process. It really is that easy. OK, so there's just one more thing I'd like to add here when it comes to the seating plan. What is different and what is very unique about our theatre and our production of Pirate Adventure is the fact that we, as artists, we use the whole theatre floor. So whether your customers are sat in the main deck, the quarter deck or the captain's tables, trust me, there are certain moments within the actual performance of the show where we, as cast members, will not be just on the stage but actually off the stage and in the audience. And that is what makes us very, very special. And that is what makes us very different to any other show. The nature of our show as cast members is to engage with the audience throughout. And remember what I said earlier, we make the audience feel a part of the show without them actually having to do a thing. This is the beauty of pirate adventure. So there isn't really a bad seat in the house. Last but not least, why is it your customers should be going to pirate adventure? Well, it's true to say that many people have been to pirates before. Maybe some of you that listen now, you've been to pirate adventure, maybe you've been to pirates reloaded or pirate and cut as it was then. But listen, 
there are still millions that haven't seen Pirates, let alone heard of it. Now, the ones that have been will say how great the show was. But do not let that put you off trying to get them to go again. One thing for sure is we, as a business, will never rest on our laurels and think the job is done. Oh, no. Far from it. Now, like everything in life, there are constant upgrades and improvements that are necessary, not only to keep up with the fast and ever-changing ways of the world, but mainly because customers' expectations go up every year and their demands require more value and better quality. We are constantly improving and changing the show year by year. So what your customer may have seen in 1990, for example, is nothing quite like what we produce today. And what we produce today will be nothing quite like what we will produce next year. Now, this is a fact, and this is why repeat customers always come back, because they know there will always be something new and fresh which will impress them. So what we're going to show you now are some images. They will appear on the screen. What I've got is three sets of two photos. I've put them side by side. Now, the image on the left that you're about to see is how we used to look in the late 80s and early 90s. And then on the right, what you'll see is how we look at the present day. And you will see the huge changes. So let's look at the first image. Here we go. Now you see how the theatre is under basic white lighting. The back wall is blue and you'll also see some yellow and brown. Now look at the image to the right. That is what we call professional theatre lighting. Next, you'll see a simple fire routine with a cheap mat on the dangerously slippy tile stage on the left. But on the right, you've got that more atmospheric movie look, seen straight from Pirates of the Caribbean. And lastly, look at this. On the left, you've got ex-circus performers doing basic handstand acts, compared to, on the right, world-class acrobats performing a highly dangerous and life-threatening routine without the aid of harnesses, which, by the way, some other more reputable shows use. Pirates not only has the wow factor, but has that danger appeal too. Okay, so that was Pirates Adventure. Now, are you ready for something completely different? Because next, we're going to go on to Pirates Reloaded. Okay, are you ready? This is Pirates Reloaded. Now, what is Pirates Reloaded? It's a great night out, and it's the only place to be and the only place to start your big night out. To give you a better idea of what this night brings, then think about this. It's a cross between a concert, a gig, festival, nightclubbing, and MTV, all rolled into one big night out. This is strictly adults only, but that doesn't mean that we stereotype and think it's just for the 18 to 30s. No, our clientele is a real mix. In the shoulder months of the summer season, like May, September and October, we do get a lot of the young couples, but also quite a lot of the older couples in their late 40s and 50s. Now, if you love music, then this show is a must. This night centres on anthems and acrobatics, top tunes from the last four decades, with music we love to sing to, chant to and dance to. Every anthem has its own unique act accompanying it, and with that, a dance routine that will leave you gagging for more. The atmosphere is electric. Now remember that this is a night will unlock that true naughty pirate within. It has a saucy and a sexier script, with the ringmaster leading the night through his pirate code. Now be warned, this is not for the faint-hearted. With a live DJ to get you in the party spirit as you enter the venue, free drinks are free-flowing all night to loosen you up. An adult-themed show that you'll have you hot and panting for more. And to finish it all off, there's an after-show VIP party, which is free for all those who attend the Reloaded and is held in one of MAGA's hottest and newest clubs, Coco Bongos. Why would you want to go anywhere else? So get cocked, locked, and ready to rock. This is Pirates Reloaded. Warning, this show contains strong language and sexual references throughout.
Now it's time to look at the key differences between the two products. Pirate Adventure is an experience where you can immerse yourself within a world of piracy and jump aboard a real pirate adventure. Whereas Reloaded, it's all about having a great night out. A night out to the best musical anthems ever recorded. Pirate Adventure starts at a different time to Reloaded. This is an early evening or it could be classed as a late afternoon show. Doors opening at 5.45, which in all honesty is the perfect family friendly time. Whereas Reloaded, the doors open at 10.15. And this is when the party really starts for those of that particular age group. What we normally do in the week is we'll do an adventure to start with and then we do the Reloaded straight after. In summer, it gets pretty busy. Adventure is a dinner show with the all-inclusive feel, whereas Reloaded is just a great night out, combining that gig, festival, club, MTV and concert all in one venue, with free drinks, a live DJ and the after-show party. Pirate Adventure clientele suits absolutely everybody of all walks of life, whereas Reloaded is strictly 18s and over. Pirate Adventure follows the pirate story of good versus evil, whereas Reloaded is different. This is hosted by the ringmaster who orchestrates the proceedings with the Book of Codes. Now the characters from Pirate Adventure are based on real people from many, many years ago, such as yes, Sir Francis Drake and Blackbeard, etc. Whereas Reloaded focuses on characters that are naughty but nice. Pirate Adventure has family fun interaction with comedy that suits everybody, whereas Reloaded has that electrifying atmosphere full of adult content and innuendo. Pirate Adventure has bespoke music, all of which has been written and produced just for our show. Reloaded is different. It's all commercial music uh, and all anthems, anthems that you know and love, and chances are you already have them on your downloads. In Pirate Adventure, you'll be meted, greeted and seated by the cast and crew. And also, at the end of the night, they are outside to say their thank yous and farewells. Whereas Reloaded, we take all the customers in the venue to the VIP after show party. This is obviously free, of course, in one of the resort's trendiest and fanciest clubs, where the party will continue with the ringmaster. These are the key big differences between the two products. What does success mean to you? Now, for some people, it's all about promotion and becoming a manager or head of a department. For others, it might be to score the winning goal in the cup final. Yes. Some might see success as being able to learn and discover a new language. Hola, como estas? But in this instance, we can measure our success in terms of increased shop revenues. Your target's been smashed and lots of commissions been earned. But how do we do this? Well, it's as easy and as simple as this formula that I am about to show you. If you can do all these following three at the same time, you will see significant changes. And it's for the better, trust me. Success will be guaranteed. First of all, it's all about attitude. Having and maintaining a positive frame of mind in all aspects of everything you do. And this is easier said than done. If you start to adopt this attitude right now, great things will happen. You know, everything really is possible. Just make it happen. PMA, positive mental attitude. Humor, have some fun. Enjoy life and smile more. You know, a smile doesn't cost you absolutely anything at all. It's free and it's something we can all do. What we need to do is interact and communicate. Loosen up a little. You know, people buy from people they like. I'm a big believer in that. And that's what I think sales is really all about. It's not rocket science. It's all about relationship building. Building your rapport with your customer. Inbuilt with that. Once you're building that relationship and that rapport, the trust will start to come. But remember, have some fun. Show people that you're not a typical corporate robot but a genuine human being with emotion and feeling. Show the real fun side of you. This is what we want to see. A fun person that everyone wants to be with. Action. Have you ever heard the phrase, actions speak louder than words? Of course you have. Or what about walk the talk? Just go out there and do it. Make it happen. 
engineer the situation in a sales conversation between two people. You start at point A and your job, you know your aim and your goal is to get to point B and that is the sale itself. So how you get there is what we call the journey. Now some prefer to go the direct route and some prefer to go around the houses a little. Either way you choose, there's no right or wrong way as long as you get to the right outcome. That's all that matters, but only you can make it happen. Whatever you want in life can be achieved. It's all about the desire and the want. If you want it, go get it. Never let anyone tell you it can't be done. That would be the negative approach. It can be done and you will do it. So remember above, attitude, positive mental attitude, bring out the humor, the rapport, and just go and do it. If you can tick all these three at the same time, then you're a winner. Success will flow in abundance and you'll be the one that everyone's talking about and wants to be with. All Mallorca bookings need a pirate's ticket. Are you ready for a little bit of fun? Now, remember earlier when I said you were all born to sell. Now, some of you are probably thinking, nah, I'm not a natural born salesperson. But you are. Trust me, and I'm going to prove it right now. In fact, you're going to prove it to yourself. So are you ready to play an easy and really fun game? There are no rules and there's no right or wrong in this particular game. What's going to happen is some place or destination will appear on the screen. Just let your brain conjure up the first image that pops into your head. Shout it out and keep doing this for every place or name that appears. Now I'm not sat next to you, so you don't need to be shy, okay? Just say what it is that first comes into your mind. Okay, so here we go. Orlando, USA. Easy start. London in the UK. Yep, doing well. Paris in France. Of course, the Eiffel Tower. Tenerife in the Canary Islands. Mexico, Mexico. Of course, swimming with dolphins and Chichen Itza. What about Las Vegas? Casinos, gambling, you got it. Cairo, Egypt. Too easy. Turkey. Turkish baths, of course. New York, USA. Rome in Italy. You see how easy it is? Agra, India. Tricky. Well done. Dubai. Costa Dorada in mainland Spain. Of course, Port of Ventura. Sydney in Australia. And last but not least, Mallorca. Now don't let me down. Of course, it's pirates. So you get the gist of the game there. Very, very simple. And you just prove to yourself that you were born to sell. All you did is when a destination appears, the brain does the work. It conjures up this image. And that's exactly what your customers do. So if your customers are sat at home thinking of different destinations, well, where should we go on holiday this year? Wherever they come up with, whatever different destination that might be, there will always be some image that is attached to it. Don't be afraid. When your customer comes and sits at your desk and you're talking, the general chit chats out the way, then you get down to the nitty gritty. That's when they're going to come up with different destinations that they might have thought of. And already in their head, they have the image. What we need you to do is start thinking the same way. So you're mirror imaging the customer. So, for example, if you have Mr. and Mrs. Smith and they're going to Egypt, straight away, you're getting the pyramids, you're getting the Sphinx. And you know you can sell that as an excursion, as an attraction. The idea is this. Through conversation, building that rapport and that relationship with your customer, 
You know you have to take a journey because we've discussed this already. So you are at point A and you need to get to point B. And point B is where the sale is. So they're talking about Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to Egypt. Now you know point B is the Sphinx and the pyramids, of which of course, through your retail platform, through your, your systems, you can attach those sales to this holiday booking. So you need to ask the question, and the questions are very important. And remember, never ask a closed question, because that could be the end of the conversation. And a closed question will always end in a yes or a no. And that's it. It has to be an open question, a very typical open question that you really need to start adopting into your conversation is, OK, so Mr. and Mrs. Smith, you're going to Egypt. Now, I've got a little game for you here. Amuse me with this. You're going to Egypt. Now, can you tell me, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, what are the top three things that you are going to do or going to see when you're in Egypt? Bear in mind, you can't name going to the beach or sunbathing by the pool. That doesn't count because that's obvious. You're going to do that anyway. So what three things are you going to do or see whilst you're in Egypt? Now, at this point, you've got them. You've basically lured them into a trap. Chances are one, two, or possibly all three of the choices they're going to come up with will be an attraction or some form of excursion that you can sell to them. That is as easy as it gets, and you've guaranteed yourself a sale. Remember our formula earlier? Action. So just do it and make the booking. So what's in it for you? Your shop revenues will be increased dramatically. And if you're working in a call center, the business revenue will be increased. Now your targets will be hit. In fact, if you adopted adding on an attachment or an excursion or an attraction to every particular destination that your customers are going to, your targets will not just be hit, but they'll be smashed. Incentives will be earned. Now we will put out incentives there, but also the business you work for will have certain incentives in place. Now there'll be extra commissions that will be earned and they go in your back pocket, which is always nice. A sense of achievement. Yes, you did it. Praise from your boss. There you are. Your manager is telling you you're doing a great job. Personal pride and being the best that you possibly can be. But above all, we're dealing with the customer and knowing that whether they're going to Orlando and doing some Disney parks, whether they're going to Tenerife and doing Simon Laurel Park, it doesn't matter which destination, which country they go to, with every Mallorca booking, and that's what we're talking about, bookings to the beautiful island of Mallorca here in the Balearics, they will have a great time at Pirate Adventure or Pirates Reloaded. They'll be taking memories home with them. It'll be enhancing the holiday experience. You will be finding their happy place. You will be giving them a real good time. And you, you'll be helping them to discover their smile. Now that's what's in it for you. Well, that's all, folks. Just want to say uh, thank you very much for listening and taking part in my webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember, always be positive, keep smiling, and have plenty of fun. Just get out there and do it. Make it happen. So until next time, war me hotties, the pirates be coming. That was wonderful. Bravo. I loved that. Oh, it was great. Well, it was pretty good. Well, it wasn't bad. Well, there were parts of it that weren't very good, yeah, It could have been a lot better. I didn't really like it. It was pretty terrible. It was bad. It was awful. It was terrible. Get him away. Hey, boo. Boo.